Next thing we want to do is start aligning the four grommets. So there's two different things you need to know about this. So firstly we are going to grab the compass and drag it back down here to this origin point at the back here. And I'm going to choose grommet number one. I'm going to drag it out and notice that it's not really lined up properly. So what I can do is I can choose one of these curved lines and drag him around so it's roughly lined up. I'm going to do the same with the second grommet. So I drag the compass back down to this origin point. I'm going to choose grommet two and do the same thing but line it up with the rear axle position approximately. So the first thing we do here is line this up with the axle. So back up to this here. Now remember this is a coincidence constraint, so it's placing one thing on top of another. We choose that. We then need to choose this axis there. And then we need to choose the axis of that, which is could be the axle. In fact it is because we can see it's highlighted up in the tree. But given that the axle was, con was coincided directly onto the axis of the hole, it's really the same thing. They all sit on top of each other. So now I just update that and we've lined that up. And then the next thing we need to do is slightly different um, but similar. So the, the first thing I'm going to do is I'll go back up to this coincidence constraint. And because I've got a flat surface on this side of the car, I can choose that surface. And what I want to do is coincide the inside of this grommet. So not the outside surface, but that inside face there. I want to coincide that with the back of the car. So if I've done that correctly, and I think I have, that grommet now sits exactly on there. To do the front one, however, we've got a slightly different process because we don't have a flat surface to coincide onto. So in any case, we need to align it up first. So I choose this, and I need to choose the axis of this, which is there. I now need to choose the axis of that and update. So it's lined up properly now, but because I don't have a flat surface to coincide the other flat surface onto, I need to use this tool now in which we're going to constrain as an offset. So what we need to do here is select that and then we can select that plane there, that XY plane of the axle, and constrain that against this inside surface. Maybe I need to zoom in a little bit further so it's easier to get hold of. So I'm going to grab that. And at the moment it's telling me that it's 172 millimetres approximately. And so I happen to know that I'm about 17.5 millimetres from the centre of the car. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in 18 millimetres there and then update that and then I'm going to zoom in and see what the results are like. So as you can see that's pretty close there. Um, I could go back and double click on that and make it 17.5 if I wanted to and update and if I'm not happy with that I'm not especially happy with it. I might in fact go back to 18 and I can just use Control Z for that. Of course what you need to do now is do exactly the same thing on the other side of the car.